Hey guys and welcome. So in today's video I'm not going to be reviewing a certain product or blade or soap or anything like that. It's just going to be kind of a fun shave today. I always like taking some time to just do one of these shaves where I'm not like reviewing anything for you guys. I love doing the reviews but those do take a fair amount of effort to do those, uh, those episodes just because I like to research the product ahead of time so I have plenty of information to share with you guys. And during the shave, I'm always super tuned into the shave so I can give you guys the best feedback about the performance of that product, um, which I love doing. I really, really like that aspect of making these videos. Um, but sometimes it's just nice taking a step back and just, you know, enjoying this process and enjoying the shaves and using some of the products that I do like that I've discovered through all these reviews and everything like that. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. Just kind of like a fun shave. It's the weekend, I have a little bit extra time. Um, I know I said I was going to be doing a straight razor shave, but today's a little bit busy because there's other stuff I want to get done. So uh, I'm not going to be doing a straight razor shave today. So just kind of a fun safety razor shave. I hope you guys are enjoying your process of shaving. I hope that you guys are getting good shaves out of it, that you're enjoying the entire process, that you have good products you're using. But I also hope that you guys don't feel like you need to always invest and new soaps, new blades, new razors. I know I often have a lot of new stuff that I'm using, but I get those so I can do the reviews. So hopefully if you guys are interested in one of those products, you can use that review to get more information about the product to make a buying choice off of that. So anyway, you know, if I was really not doing these videos, I could really picture myself just having a few razors, a few different types of blades, a few soaps, maybe like a couple uh, boar hair brushes, something like that, and I'd be perfectly happy. Honestly, if I had to grab a razor, a brush and like one or two soaps and like one type of blade, I'd be happy, you know, because that's what I travel with and I really enjoy traveling. It's just a simplified process. I have just some of my core gear there. Um, so anyway, I just hope you guys don't get caught up in all that because I know I'm always throwing new products at you guys. Uh, so I hope you are enjoying the process and getting good shaves and using those reviews. Not as that you need to get the next best greatest thing out there, but making buying choices from that. Anyway, quick aside there. For today's shave, I'm going to be starting out with a pre-shave soap. This is the one that was a combo product between Razor Rock and How to Grow a Mustache. They each individually now, uh, How to Grow a Mustache is now Phoenix Arts and Accoutrements. They have a couple pre-shave soaps and Razor Rock has a few pre-shave soaps. But I don't know if they're making this combo anymore and it did not come in a tin. It just came wrapped up but I took it, put it in an old tin here. Here's a soap. It's a uh, menthol lime glycerin based pre-shave soap. It's really nice. It just lays down a nice layer of slickness on your skin for an extra layer of protection. It adds to the post-shave. Um, and I can really tell, I'm using this today because I can really tell the aspects of this pre-shave soap when I am pairing it up with a soap that is not necessarily a perfectly well-rounded soap. And for today's shave, I'm going to be using Arco. Arco is a tallow-based uh, shaving soap sticking. Picks up for like one or two bucks. Super cheap. It's from Turkey. Great soap. Um, I do highly recommend it. It gives great slickness, great protection, but the post shave is a little bit drying. So that's why I'm augmenting it with the pre shave soap to hopefully make it a little bit less drying today. So I have a day and a half of facial hair growth. Just got out of the shower. Facial hair is nice, hydrated, ready to go. I have my sink here filled with hot tap water. Just add in a little bit of moisture. There we go. All right, now pre shave soap. I kind of go back and forth, just getting it there between all the hairs. All right, then as recommended from the manufacturer, against the grain. All right, there we go. That's it. Very simple to use. And I really do think it adds to uh, the quality of the shave. I really like it, and it's a little bit of menthol in there. It's not very menthol-y, but just a little bit. Too much menthol kind of bothers my eyes. I'm already squinting just from this little bit. It has a nice lime scent to it. All right, Arco. This is a new shaving stick. I've had others in the past, but this one's a new one for me. So just kind of open it up. It's kind of like a burrito. You just kind of go down a little bit, and I just... There you go. Unwrap it like that. So it's a white stick. It just smells like a clean, fresh soap. It really does smell like a classic soap scent. Anyway, it's really not too bad. I'm going to go ahead and take this and dip it 
Oh, they, it's actually inscribed here on the side. I've never seen that before. It says Arco. Uh, it says 75 grams and something else. I can't quite read it all. I had never noticed that before. Anyway, take it, dip it here in the water and the shaving soap sticks. You just apply it directly to your face. Alright, I'm sure I have more on here than I could ever possibly need for this shave, but I'd rather overload than underload. And this is a pretty tough stick, so I kept dipping in the water here to help soften it up to apply it. I think you could actually um, bloom this, and what I mean by that is you could take the stick ahead of time uh, and dip it in a mug of water and let it sit there while you're showering. That's what I do in the future. Uh, when I use this, I'm definitely going to be doing that. All right, today's shaving brush, I am using the Omega 10080. It's a boar hair brush. Uh, this is a plastic handle, but I still like the chrome look to it. It's nice, and I really like the performance of this brush. The dimensions are great. Uh, definitely highly recommend this brush. And since I'm starting out like this, I'm gonna have to add in a lot of water, so I'm not gonna dry out the brush completely. Just kind of a light squeeze there. There's a lot of water still left in here. So I can start building the lather. Alright, so there's a problem here. This lather is foamy. Um, I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's really big air bubbles in there and it's just, it's not developing that nice thick lather. Look at it dissipating here. You can start to see my skin through the lather. I do not use lathers like this. When it starts doing this, um, it just does not, it hasn't developed that nice, fit, thick, rich, full lather that will give you the protection you need. It's still slick, but just not protective. Um, so I'm not going to shave with this. Uh, I could go back and play around, but for the sake of time, once a soap kind of does this once on me, I don't really mess around with it anymore. I just switch to something that I know is not going to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Alright, so I had this thing around. This is the uh, Katie's Bubbles Tonsorial Parlor Soap. It's an amazing shaving soap. It is made between Katie's Bubbles and Italian Barber. Um, awesome scent to it. Very unique scent for sure. It's not like a classic barber shop, anything like that. I don't really know how to describe it, but it, it's a really nice scent to it. And I chose this soap because it's a little bit softer. So, because I did not obviously bloom this soap, because I just picked it up out of my cabinet down here, um, I need something a little bit uh, softer so I can load up into my brush. So, I just cleaned out my brush here, get out the water, and gonna load up. Alright, gobs of soap loaded there. I take off some of the uh, suds and lather from the side of the, the, uh, the tub here and just add to my face. Alright, just send it there on my rack upside down so I can start drying. Start building the lather. I have one of my wife's hairs in here somehow, and she has longer hair, and it's just kind of gross. I'll deal with that later, but don't want that in my lather.
Alright, so this is what you want from your lathers. A nice, thick, dense lather, small air bubbles in here, nice stable lather. Beautiful. I think you guys, well at least I hope you guys can see a difference there in the lathers from the previous one. This is a much different lather. This is what I want. This is what I get every time I shave because I think you need this to get an excellent shave. Alright, today's razor going with the Mercor 34C. This is my all-time favorite razor and in here I have a Voschkod blade. I picked this blade up uh, in one of my uh, blade reviews, one of my recent ones. It was my first time using these blades and they are awesome. These blades are incredible. They gave me such a nice shave. I really, really like these blades a lot. These have skyrocketed to the top of my list, at least up there near the very top. You know, one of the few blades I'd kind of bounce between and go back to for different shaves for sure. But it's right up there with Persona Lab Blues, which you guys know are my favorite blades. These are super, super impressive, and I'm really glad that I did the blade review series and found these blades. And I'm hoping that throughout the, the series I'll continue to find more blades like that. There are gems out there that work great for me. I have a fresh Voschgott in here. First pass going with the grain. Oh, and also, the first time I used this blade on the first pass uh, during the blade review video, uh, it just did not work that well. It wasn't too sharp. It really did not give a good first pass, but the second, third, and cleanup passes were incredible. And then through some of the comments I learned from you guys, these are, like I knew, they're Teflon co coated blades, but apparently, um, you know, they're coated, and so during the first pass, you're kind of removing some of that coating from the blade edge. So people said it's pretty typical with these blades that the first pass, it feels a little bit dull on your skin, but then it picks up to its, uh, to its regular speed in subsequent passes. I'm definitely feeling that now. It's a, not quite sharp enough. There we go. Nice first pass. Um, like I mentioned, these blades uh, need some time to pick up speed as you're removing some of that Teflon coating. And my where I started here, this side is noticeably less smooth than this side of my face and my neck. Uh, and this is obviously where I started shaving. So, pretty interesting. Alright, back to the brush. Apply second lather. Alright, second pass, cross grain. I go this direction. Awesome second pass. These blades are definitely up to speed now. Um, really, really smooth pass. Alright, third pass. It's dropped a huge gob of lather there. Uh, just going to add that in. Might as well. It's good stuff. Alright, third pass. Cross grain this direction.
Oh yeah, there we go. The shave is feeling awesome. Wow. I really do like these blades a lot. They're pretty amazing. They're they're sharp, but they're just so smooth. Uh, they just they handle so nicely on the skin. Pretty nice. All right, back to the brush here. Pulling out the lather. Tons of lather in the brush. So I do this as my cleanup pass because you know a lot of guys they just you know they do the, their full shave and then they feel the results of the shave once they've uh, cleaned up already and gotten rid of their lather and I like doing this now because I can feel around if there's any area I want to get because every once in a while I miss little spots and I do like cleaning up my mustache area and get it nice and close so I do this for multiple reasons and I like it it, it takes a little bit extra time but I think it's really worth it. All right, I'm very happy with where that's at. I'm going to go ahead and get cleaned up. <clears throat> All right, feeling around here, awesome. So smooth, nice and close. Um, of course, after I was lauding how smooth these blades are, I went ahead and nicked myself right here in my chin. Uh, oh well, not a big deal. It's not really bleeding too much. Uh, I'll hit it with the stippy pencil anyway. Just might as well stop it now. So this is a Clubman Pinod stiptic pencil. I recommend you guys pick one up. I think Walmart has them and most drugstores do. You can wet it ahead of time, or you can just rub it on your skin. There. And then make sure you dry it off before you put it away, because the water degrades the pencil. So you can come back in and just be kind of like powdery, so make sure you dry it off nice before you put it away. All right, for my post-shave today, I'm starting with the Captain's Choice Bay Rum Aftershave. Awesome stuff, this is my favorite Bay Rum scent. Uh, this is alcohol-based, so this is going to burn. But the uh, Bay Rum sounds amazing. Alright, not too much of a terrible burn actually. Uh, my skin's definitely getting red though. Uh, and then I'm going to top it off with a post shave balm. I'm using the Soap Commander Integrity. I love this stuff. Uh, it's unscented, so it's really nice. You can pair it with other scents like this Bay Rum. But, you know, I really like using a uh, aftershave balm. Uh, it just really helps lock in your skin moisture. Otherwise, you can get dry skin, and I just I hate that. So, I tend to use an aftershave balm after every shave. Alright, there we go. So, uh, thanks for sticking with me with today's shave. I know I had to switch things up after the lather kind of dissipated out, but in the end, I'm really happy with the results. Uh, that case bubble soap did awesomely. Really great shave. Really liking the Voschkod blades. Um, yeah, pretty awesome. Anyway, welcome to all you new guys out there. If you have questions about wet shaving, let me know below. I will uh, try to get back to you. Also, Instagram. If you guys are on Instagram, I do a, uh, I put my daily shave pictures on there. So head over there. That's sometimes a little bit easier to get back to your comments on that forum. But uh, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching and stay tuned. Lots of videos to come.